Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to move a step ahead and we are going to see that how, how we can actually, uh, you know, copy a file from our system and load the data into Snowflake table. So what does it mean? It means, let's say you have your file which is present in your local system. It is, it might be a CSV file, it might be a Parquet file, it might be a JSON file. You take that file you use that data and you load that data into any snowflake table using the copy command so essentially uh, right now what uh, we are doing is from a local file system this can also be done from uh, let's say your azure blob storage your s3 bucket right so it can be done from that as well and we will see that in our upcoming videos so let's move ahead and see how we can do this part now even before moving on to that part we need to understand that how it can be done right so essentially we have already installed snow sql which is very important right in my previous video i showed you how we can install snow sql and how important it is to you know run these commands right now if you have the data files which is shown at the top in this particular diagram now these data files what you need to do is you need to put using the put command now this put command can be executed in snow sql that is why i have created a video to install snow sql right now using the put command in the snow sql you will create a stage right and from that stage you will actually create a uh, like you will use copy into command which is again a snow sql command you will use the copy into command to copy the data into the uh, database table right and of course you will have a virtual warehouse which will do all this uh, you know computation so this is how essentially uh, overall picture this is the overall picture how uh, you know this copy will look like to you and for this we need data files right so we will be using two data files we will be using csv we will be using json right i will uh, leave the link in the description you can go ahead and download those files and uh, you know you can uh, replicate the same thing in your own system as well and learn now you will need those two data files you will need to you will need to create the tables as well in the snowflake right because you are going to copy everything into a table right so you will create a table in snowflake you will create a virtual warehouse you will install snow sql and uh, you will have these data files and rest uh, we will do right now we, i will show you how we can do that right so now essentially let's do one thing first of all i need a database right i need a database to do everything right so let me just create a database let me go to this option in the database side let me uh, just click on create let me create a new database let's say my database right so this is how my database name looks like and let me just click on finish so now you can see that your my database has come up here now if you want to add anything to this database you want to create any tables you can click on this create option over here you can give the table names the schema everything over here now there, there are different ways to do this right and you can also do it using the uh, query part here right so if you if i refresh you can actually see that i have this my database over here right it, it has schema named as public so i have a database now i'm going to create two tables inside that database right and even to create those tables i need a warehouse right now to create a warehouse also i can either use a script which i am showing you right now on the screen or i can directly go to this warehouse option and create a warehouse so this part also i have explained you in my portal walkthrough session right so let me just click on run so the moment i click on this run option you can see that my warehouse has been successfully created now after this what you need to do is you need to see <clears throat> that what warehouse is selected for you right whichever warehouse you want to use you can use that particular warehouse right and then whatever database you want to work on you can choose that particular database so right now i want to use my database i want to use a public schema right so this is how everything will look like now let me create a target table because to load the files i need to have the target tables created right so to create a target table again what i'll be doing is i will be um, you know running the script right create or replace table my csv table now let me just run this command so you will actually see that the my csv table gets uh, created 
and similarly let me create my json table as well let me just hit on run so i have these two tables you can see on the left hand side in the public schema i have these two tables created now okay so basically now you have the tables created and now you just need to load the data into these tables now for that uh, if you go back to this particular diagram right you have the data files you have the tables ready right you have the warehouse ready now you need to follow this particular line right now for that remember that you need to create uh, you need to create a stage over here right now to create a stage before creating a stage we create a file format object now what does this file format object do this file format object will actually help you to define how your file looks like right this is the this is the format right create or replace file format if not exist this is the name of your file format and then what type of file format you are creating what is the delimiter you know all those things related to the file all the details related to the files will actually be held in this file format object and this file format object will be used to create a stage that we are seeing in this particular diagram right so let me just you know create this file format object let me just copy this script and i'll explain you this as well so let me just run it now if you see it says create or replace file format my csv format right this is for the csv file which i am going to load right and i am telling okay the type of my file is a csv the delimiter is pipe delimiter skip header one essentially means that it has headers so you need to skip it right so that is why uh, you define uh, you know file format to define the type of your file and the details related to your file so now you can see that it says that your file format my csv format successfully created similarly you do it for json so you can see that create or replace my for my json format and type is json right strip outer array true right so this is how exactly your uh, scripts will look like for creating file formats now even your file format is ready what next right so the moment you create file format you have to create stages right the stages which you saw in that diagram as well so that stage you need to create now uh, in while creating a stage you will always specify the file format that you have created right you have defined the details of your file over there right now uh, in the uh, you know file format right if you see uh, I have created these two file formats right so let me just copy the script and uh, let me just paste it over here you will actually see that it says create or replace stage and the stage name using the file format right a very simple script to create a stage and store your file information in that stage now I have created two stages my csv stage my json stage so now both the stages are created right now let me go back to this diagram again so if you see we have created the stage as well now only two things remains now you have the data files you have the table you have the virtual warehouse you have the stage as well right you just need put command over here you just need copy command that's all and then your table is ready with the data also remember that uh, you know we have the file i'll actually I, i'll leave the link to the files in the description box you can go ahead and use the same files which i have used right i'll leave the uh, link in the description box so for me basically i have taken the files i have loaded in my local disk c i have created a folder named as tmp you can also create the same folder or you know you can place it anywhere right it doesn't need to be in the same place where i have placed it so if you see this is the file that uh, i'll be using for all my demos so for example my csv file right this is my csv file contacts 1 2 3 4 and 5 right and similarly i have this contacts json file as well right so i have these two files right now i need to uh, you know use the same location in my put command right put command will essentially take the data from my local file system and it will put it into the stage so basically uh, you know uh, whatever your stage you have created if you want to load the data if you want to upload the data files right into that particular internal stage then you will use the put command right and uh, let me just 
connect my a path over here and show it to you in fact uh, one is json and another one is uh, csv so okay now you can actually see how does the put command looks like so if you see put right and then you kind of say file colon right this is the syntax file colon and then you give the location of the file right this is the location of the file right c temp load uh, contacts star dot csv right and similarly and what is the stage at the rate you have to provide the name of the stage with at the rate at the rate my csv stage auto compress true right so by default it will actually compress you uh, compress the file while staging uh, while saving it in the stage that is why it says auto compress equal to true so this is how it actually looks like and similarly here let me put contacts dot json because i have the json file over here right now these are the two commands which actually i will run to put my file from my system to the stage that i have created also remember that uh, you know when you are seeing this put command right so you can actually see the star you know contact contacts dot star and i have these multiple uh, files contact one contact two contact three contract four and five right it will take all these files because i am using this star over here so let me just copy the first put command first right and go to my command line interface now this is the same snow sql which we have installed just in our previous video right so right now you know you can see over here right now right now if you see it is connected to the test database but right now i don't want it to connect to the test database so i can actually say okay go ahead and use my data base right i can actually go ahead and say okay use my database okay there was a syntax error let me just uh, retype it use my data base right now you can actually see that it started using my database dot public and also i want to use warehouse which i have created right especially for this purpose use warehouse which warehouse i wanted to use my warehouse and colon so now you can see the whole um, you know uh, initials has changed to my warehouse my database dot public so because my tables are created in this particular database that is why i am using this right now let me just put in my put command so right now you can see this is how i have copied my put command it has taken the files from my local system and it is putting in the stage let me just enter it so the moment i enter it what it starts doing right you can see it has picked up contacts one contact two contact three contact four contact five uh, csv right all the csv this is my source and the target auto compress is true right so target you can see dot gun zip right dot gz right it has auto compressed it you know source size is larger than the target size it has compressed it right you can actually see uh, you know that the status is also uploaded now in the similar way what i'll do is i will also copy my json file right let me just copy my json file the put command for my json file which will take the data from my system and put it in the stage now let me just enter it now you will also see that it has taken contacts.json again uh, gun zipped it source size is larger than the ta uh, target size and the target compression is gzip and the status is uploaded now if you can also see that what i can do is i can also list right uh you know if you want you can list your stage as well you know this is just a check if you want to do that uh it is not mandatory process so let me say list my csv stage so right now you can see that in my csv stage right i have all the files present correct i have all the files present because i have taken the file from my system and i have put it in the my csv stage using the put command in the similar way uh let me you, uh check my json stage as well now my json stage will also have the file which i have taken now you can see that it has contact json dot gz file as well right now we have the everything ready in a stage what we need to do next we need to use copy to the target table 
right this copy to the target table basically will load the data staged data into the target table that's all right it is very uh, you know very simple step let me just copy it and put it in the window in the command line so that it is little more clear to you so you can see it over here right let me put it here now you can see i say uh, what this command says copy into my csv table so right now let me go to my csv table my database public my csv table let me just try to preview the data from my csv table uh, let me do it in the new fresh window so that uh, everything is very clear let me click on preview data you can actually see that there is no data present over here right and now what I'm saying copy into my CSV table copy into this particular table right which is present in my warehouse which is using my warehouse which is present in my database from my CSV stage right use contact onecsvgz it is not using all the files it is only using first file file format you know my file format will be my CSV format right let me just enter it so the moment i entered it you can actually see that it gave you whole statistics right what is the status loaded rows passed rows loaded right what essentially happened right how many rows were added so now again let me just refresh it and let me just preview the data and you can see over here five rows got added from your csv file right now if i go here and if i just open my contacts one dot csv file right you can see uh, let me just put it side by side across now you can see at least you can see these three right these three data points so essentially the whole data all the five files all the five rows which were in my csv file got added over here correct now similarly if i want that not just one csv file right i want to uh, you know copy the data from all the csv file let me just copy it again I, ju I, I just don't want one csv file because in the previous uh, copy command what i have done i have said only contacts one dot csv here i am saying contacts bracket one two five right so this i am saying now let me just click on enter you will actually see that all the files got loaded right contacts one was already loaded so it loaded other two three four and five files right now if i go back to my uh you know table and i say you know preview data from my csv table you will actually see the all the data from my files has actually come up here right so this is how it looks like similarly for my json i will show you my json file as well let me just copy this and again put it right copy into my json table i am trying to copy it into my json table right now if i go here and if i say preview data right my json data is empty now if i want to copy the data into my json table from my json stage right and this is the file that i want to copy and this is the file format right which is my json format which i created now let me click on enter so the moment i do that you can actually see that you know it loaded it got loaded it says the status is loaded as well so now let me just preview the data so the moment i preview the data you can actually see you know how the json data has also been loaded right it can also handle your semi-structured data right it can handle your json data as well now if i go back and uh, let me just open my contacts dot json file right so you can see this is how my json files look looks looked like right it had three um entities uh, let me just show you side by side again here right so at least you can make it out that how it actually has handled the loading of json data into the database table so i hope you like this video if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section but it was very important video in the upcoming videos we will also see that you know how we can uh, you know right now if you see this json data right it has come everything in one single column right if you want to parse this json how you can do that while copying so there are multiple things associated here we are going to see this do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and also i will put the link to the csv and this json file as well 
right in my description box so that you can copy the same csv and json file and try loading it from your end so thank you so much for being till here